So, you want to make leather armor. Where do you start? Well, we're going to start with the patterns. Uh, I'm going to talk a little more thoroughly about how to make your patterns, how to get ideas, that kind of thing, how to do your uh, concept drawings. And so what we're looking at here today, uh, I'm just going to work on uh, uh, showing you how, how I go about making my patterns, designing the, the armor that I make, and uh, what I go through. Um, a lot of times I'll start with uh, concept drawings. Just a concept drawing. It, it might just be a simple little sketch uh, of, a, of a one piece with a helmet maybe, or, or just uh, the piece of armor itself without anything. Just some ideas. These are things that I, how I come up with my stuff. I just start drawing stuff uh, a lot of times. And uh, people will describe to me what they want. Uh, and I'll do a drawing for them. And they'll say, yeah, that was exactly what I had in my head. This is how I go about doing it. Start with a drawing. Make some notes sometimes on the drawings, depending on specifications that the customers may have asked for or that I may want uh, for my specific uh, costume that I'm making. But right now, uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how to cut it out and how I go about marking the holes and things like that. We're just working on the uh, armor plates for a... Uh, this is, this is just a Black Viper Spalder, one of my original designs that I did way back in 2002 or three or whatever it was. And uh, this, I'm just going to show you how I go about measuring and, and putting the notes on the plates and then cutting them out of the cardboard. And I've just got some, uh, I've just got some beverage box cardboard. I like that because it's a nice, nice thick cardboard that's flexible enough that I can get an idea of what the leather is going to do when I'm working with it. And it holds up to many, many uses, like uh, I can use it hundreds of times before I need to make a new pattern. So what I do is I start I, with the plates, I make a little drawing of the plate and how many I'm going to need. In this case, I just did the three to just show you where I'm, where I'm going with this. And I'm going to start, I, I have a tape measure here, and I want to know, okay, well, how, how big do I want my top plate to be? So I'm going to take my tape measure there, get an idea, I want it to wrap around a little bit, not too far, get an idea of what I got there. And that comes out at about 10 and a half inches, that's what I want my top plate to be. Okay, this is, I'm marking, I'm putting the little notes on uh, how, what my measurements are here, so that I know what to measure to cut out. So I'm going to measure that my 10 and a half inches, or 5 and 1 quarter from the center. I, I like to, I like to just start on one of these center marks here, of the, of the box, because it's already pre-folded and, and ready to go. So we're just going to mark that. And we only need to mark one side because we're just going to uh, cut it, fold it, and cut it. Go ahead and make a mark there. And then we want it to come down into a point. Doesn't have to be a perfect curve, but when you cut it, we're going to make it as good as we can. As perfect. All right. Now we've got that. We'll go ahead and cut off this excess stuff here that I don't need for this particular piece. We're going to fold this over. Down a little more. Come in with your straight edge. a few times to get through the cardboard and then you end up with something that looks like that. Okay, so piece. next I'm going to mark 
the borders on my uh, on my piece and that's going to show me uh, that'll give me a good angle uh, or a good uh, edge enough for the rivets to hold on to now this is a little piece of uh, aluminum wire that I bent with uh, some uh, little jewelers uh, needle nose pliers to this shape this is three eighths of an inch this is a half inch just those are my most common uh, uh, borders half inch three eighths inch so that's what I made this for and we just come along and we only have to mark one side because our holes are going to be symmetrical and we mark our edges and that way I've got I know exactly where my corner is at three eighths of an inch I know where the bottom is at three eighths of an inch now I can see that pretty good but I might come in with my pencil and just at the parts where I'm probably going to be putting holes and the like I'm going to mark the lines a little bit clearer for myself okay now uh, if I'm if I'm putting this together it just depends on how I'm going to put this together my original design this was put together with rivets in uh, in the corners and just the plates were plated over each other uh, now I do a thing where we put straps on the back so it's fully articulating the plates fold on top of each other I'm gonna show you just you know quick how I punch the holes I just actually use my mini punch the same punch that I'm gonna punch uh, my rivet holes with in the leather and I just punch the holes out got one there in the corner got one in this corner Now, if I'm putting any spikes or anything like that on there, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my spike and I'm gonna mark the holes for it and and put those spikes there, punch the holes. That way, I'll have uh, I'll have that pattern. And if I make the spikes the same way every time, then they can go on that pattern like that. If I'm adding anything like uh, like say a nickel plated uh, pyramid spike, I've got this piece this pyramid spike that I, I have cut off the ends so that I can actually mark where that's gonna go so say I would just kind of center that where that's at that's gonna go there I'll press that down nice and hard and I've got my marks now and then what I do I just fold it over and I take my this is a thonging chisel used for making stitches I use it for uh, making holes for my for my spikes thonging chisel and I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna knock a hole right through there and then when I when I mark it onto the leather I'm gonna use that to mark it and it'll make a little cut in the leather so I know exactly where my where my uh, stud my pyramid stud is supposed to go so that's pretty much it for uh, designing and cutting patterns. Uh, if you have any questions, please shoot me some comments. If you have a particularly difficult design that you maybe need help with designing the pattern or some ideas getting patterns for your leather, shoot me some comments. And if you like this video, remember, hit the like button. If you want to see more, well, then subscribe because we're going to be coming out with some more videos very soon. Uh, thanks for all the subscribers that have subscribed and just keep watching. I'll show you how to make leather armor.